Hi, Creations for Cures friends. I'm Eileen, and I am a volunteer with Creations for Cures. And we are here in the month of February to do a new art project. Um, what is that art project? Thanks for asking. This month, it's going to be making a What I Love About Myself rainbow. And I made this one the other day. And I put on there, and it says, What I Love About Myself. And I said, Smart, and funny, and loving. I'm kind, I'm caring. I even like to hug myself like this. <gasps> hug, 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 <laughs> Because I love me. So this is what we're going to make today. You only need um, a few supplies. So you will need um, some paper. You will need scissors. Um, I have a pencil to help me draw a little bit. I have, you can use markers. You can use crayons. You can use paints. You can use your colored pencils. Um, I have some string and of course glue. This time I have a glue stick. So we're going to get started on our art project. So it's February already. I cannot believe it. Uh, lots of fun things happen in February, don't they? Um, we have Groundhog's Day. That's when the groundhog will predict if we'll have more uh, winter weather. Happy Groundhog Day. We have Valentine's Day where we get to tell people we love them. Happy Valentine's Day! Um, it's Black History Month. It's an opportunity to learn about all the amazing um, things that have happened over the years, all the history um, for Black History Month. It's a great opportunity to learn about those things. Um, so yeah, it's a very exciting month. Have you met my friend? No, hi, I'm Tyrese. So we're gonna take our paper and we are going to fold it in half. I have a really thick piece of paper. And then we're gonna fold it one more time. So we're gonna fold it in half and then we're gonna fold it in half again. So here's my paper. And then on the side where the fold is, I'm gonna take my pencil and I'm gonna draw like half of a heart. So I'll show you when I'm done. Do. I'm going to try to do a few of them on this paper. Okay, so see they're just the halves, and then I'm going to cut those out. Where are my scissors? Here they are. Okay, so again, if you're going to use scissors, be very careful. Maybe have a parent to help you. So let me cut these out. I'm going to actually do two sets of these. So I'm going to cut these out. Um, kind of excited for this art project because there's so many fun things um, about rainbows. Uh, most of the time when you see a rainbow, you kind of just see it in an arc, right? But a rainbow is actually a full circle. But because we're on the ground, it only looks like an arc. Look, Dora! A rainbow! So, and there's such beautiful colors. All those colors just perfectly blend together so that it looks like they all are just almost sort of one. So here's, oh, these parts came out a little small. That's okay. So here I have two because I had it folded in half. Here's my other. Oh, these came out a little bit bigger, so I have two more. And then I have, ooh, that one. So I'm gonna do it one more time. I'm gonna put this over, ooh. I'm gonna put this over here and I'm gonna do it one more time. And then we'll have a whole nother set and you can do as many hearts as you want. So you can do six, you can do eight, you can do four. It's all up to you. Because then it'll give you a num as many hearts as you want to write all of those things that you love about yourself. Oh, it's a handy dandy notebook shaped like a heart. So, okay, so we're almost done. Here's another set. Oh, those came out pretty good getting better at it. So I have all my hearts and I have doubles of each one. Okay, here's all my hearts. Now I'm gonna color them. And you wanna color both sides, so I'm gonna color this side and this side because we're gonna end up gluing them together. So I'm gonna use 
I'm gonna color, let's see, do I wanna use, maybe I'll use my crayons this time. Last time I used my markers, but I think this time I'm gonna use my crayons. And let's, uh, let's start with a red. So I'll start coloring, I'm gonna color. You know, some other fun facts about rainbows is did you know that Hawaii gets the most rainbows out of anywhere on earth? So if you want to see a lot of rainbows, you should go to Hawaii. Now this is what I call a luau. I don't know why they get the most rainbows, but that's kind of a cool fact. And I think if I lived there, I'd be super excited about the fact that they got a lot of rainbows. I mean, I don't care how old you are. If you see a rainbow, stop and look. It's so cool. Gavia, what a beautiful rainbow. You can see I even have my rainbow tree behind me. That's my rainbow tree. That tree I have out year round because it's fun and it's a rainbow and I have little lights in it and it's always fun to see it, see it all lit up. Okay, so as I said, so I colored in because what I'm gonna eventually do is glue them together. So I have color on both sides. So you just have to color both sides. So I'm gonna go through and color all of my rainbows. I'm gonna pick all sorts of different colors to color each side of my hearts. Um, when I was in school, the way that I could remember the colors of the rainbow was they gave us a name, and the name was Roy G. Biv. And that made me help me to remember. So if Roy is the first one, it was red, orange, yellow for Roy. And then his middle initial was G, so that was green. And then Biv was blue, indigo, and violet. So that's how I always remembered the colors of my rainbow. Okay, so that's one, and then let me color the other side. So yeah, so I'm just gonna kinda use my crayons, and I'm gonna color all the sides of my, just one side of each heart. Okay, I've colored in all my hearts. I have purple, I have blue, I have green, I have orange, my favorite color. And I have a, a sort of like a dark pink. So I'm excited about all those colors. So we have to do a little bit more cutting. So I have to cut out the, the cloud on the top of, that will be on the top of my rainbow. Do you like to look at the clouds? Me too. So this time I'm just gonna fold the paper in half. And I'm just gonna kinda draw a little bubbly cloud. So on just one side, and now I'm just gonna kinda cut it out. Again, be very careful with your scissors. Uh, so what other fun things do I know about rainbows? That's a good question. I also know that the longest lasting rainbow happened in England in 1994. And the rainbow lasted, are you ready for this? From 9 a.m. till 3 p.m. That's a very long time. So that was the longest lasting rainbow. So look, here's one of my clouds. I'm gonna do one more. Because I want, I'm gonna um, paint, on, I'm gonna have, I have to have a matching cloud on the other side. Okay. I'm just gonna take this cloud, I'm gonna trace it over my paper so they're pretty much the same. You know, there's a Irish myth that at the end of every rainbow, if you can find the end of a rainbow, you might find a pot of gold. Gold! At the end of a rainbow. But as I said in the beginning, a rainbow really doesn't have an end because it's really a full circle. So it kind of tricks you. But yeah, the, the mythology is, is that a leprechaun leaves his pot of gold at the end of a rainbow. So if you can find the end of the rainbow, you can find a pot of gold. All right, so now I have my two clouds. 
and I am going to color in. I'm going to color my clouds too. So uh, I think maybe for that one, I'm going to use my markers. I want to kind of make it look like a fun cloud. I'm going to add a little maybe dimension to it, but you just really kind of have to color it in a little. Ooh, maybe I'll use my colored pencil too. Let's see. Okay, so I'm going to color it in and kind of just make it look a little bit like a cloud. Wow, great clouds, Franklin. Thanks. They're my sunset clouds. Have you ever wondered how a cloud would feel? I, don't know, I think in my mind sometimes I think clouds are really cotton candy. And if I ever really got to touch a cloud, that it would taste like cotton candy. I don't think so, but you know, listen, we can all dream, right? So coloring in my cloud a little bit. Color, let's see, I wanna make sure I'm matching up the right sides. Okay, yep, I'm gonna color this side. So I'm gonna make sure, and after all, right, this is when you usually see a rainbow is when there's clouds, right? After the rain, and then they come out, the clouds kind of part a little bit, and the rain stops. And you have your beautiful rainbow. After the rain comes the sun. It's so beautiful. Okay. I really do like rainbows. And like I said, no matter how old I get, boy, I'm always amazed when I see one. I really think it's something special. Almost done with my second cloud. And we're gonna move on to gluing. Okay. So I have my two sides of my cloud. So again, oops, sorry, here's my other side. And I'm gonna put these two, I'm gonna glue these two eventually together. Okay. Oh, you know what? Let's cut our string first. So I don't know how much string I need, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut kind of a big piece. And I got this cool gold ribbon. Maybe this is my pot of gold at the end. Okay. I'm going to do a little loop so I can hang. I'm going to do a little loop. Here's, I'm going to glue my ribbon right in the middle. So I'm going to glue the whole back of my cloud. Take my trusty glue stick. And I'm going to use a lot of glue like I always do. Ooh, that was a little rhyme there. Nice. Okay. I'm going to put a lot of glue on the back of this one. I'm going to put some glue on the back of this one. I want to make sure that both sides glue down. Okay. I'm going to make my little loop because I want to be able to hang my little cloud. I'm going to put it like this. I'm going to show you as soon as I'm done gluing. So like I said, so I made a little loop at the top, right? So I'll be able to hang it. And then I glued both sides, right, the colored sides, and dragged it through. Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing with all of my hearts, okay? So I'm going to take all of my hearts, and I'm going to put glue on the white side, and I'm going to glue them down onto the ribbon. Okay, so I'm gluing on my last heart, my last hearts together. And I will show you what it looks like again. So here's my new one. I have a little extra ribbon at the end, so I'm just going to kind of cut this little piece off. Like that. But here's, here's how it looks right now. There's my cloud, my heart, and now the fun part begins. The fun part is, I'm going to write on this one, what I love about me. Let's write it in. Beautiful. I'm going to use my markers. What I love about me. Okay. So fun. So here it is. What I love about me. Now on each heart, I'm going to write something that I love about me. I'm going to close up my glue so it doesn't dry out. Okay. I'm going to write, let's see, on the green one, I'm gonna write, I think I'm gonna stick with funny. I think I have a pretty good sense of humor. Everyone knows that shoes belong on your ear. Come on. 
On this one, I'm also gonna say, I love, what I love about me is I love, um, I love that I'm giving. I love to volunteer. So I love to give back to my community. That's amazing, okay. I'm doing a great job for the community. Let's see, what else? I love that. I'm gonna put that I love, that I love to bake. I love to bake. And I love to bake for my friends. I love to bake for my family. I love that. How's the bacon shaking? Not so good. Oh, uh, what else? I love, I love that I'm kind. He's really kind. Unicornio is muy bueno. Yeah, the kindest. And I love that I'm, I'm gonna put smart on this one too. Not super smart, but I'm smart. Sorry, what was that? I said, wait, I have an idea. Okay. Okay. And look at that. It's done. What I love about me. I'm funny. I'm giving. I love to bake. I'm kind. And I'm smart. So, have fun making your What I Love About Me rainbow. I think you're going to find that there's a lot of things that you love about yourself and you should put them in your heart. Have a great February. Go out and make some amazing art. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can see all the fun art crafts we do. And I'll see you again in March. Have a great month. Bye.